everyone, 1.30 on the clock, it's time for Market Fatafa, your wrap and daily dose of all the stocks in the movers and shakers that you need to watch out for today in trade. I'm Mubina Kapasi. Market's looking a bit lackluster on the first day of 2019. Uh, we are off about 36 odd points and the Sensex store has lost approximately 114 points. Broader markets relatively a little more resilient. But yeah, while the mid-cap index is in the red, we have the small cap index that is being able to post just about some marginal gains, only about 12 odd points higher. So let's get going with individual stocks and the stocks that you should be keeping on your radar. Our team of research analysts is joining and standing by uh, for the same. We also have with us Rajesh Palviya of Access Securities. Uh, so good afternoon to all of you. Um, Happy New Year as well. Um, let's start off with the very first stock and that is Yuko Bank. Now this one is in focus and it is buzzing and how double digit gains seen in the stock price today in trade this after the government has um, informed the bank that they are going to be infusing about 3076 crore rupees of capital into the bank this will be via preferential issue and the bank has given the notification with respect to the same to the exchanges do remember that uh, PSU banks have anyway been all abuzz since the recapitalization program was announced by the government last week and um, with the specifics now being doled out this stock price is seeing quite a lot of buying coming in today and trade. In fact, from the lows of 18 and 19 odd rupees last week, look at, look at the way the stock has actually moved. Now it's higher by 9.9%. Keeping it with the theme of uh, PSU Bank, then and Rajesh, Oriental Bank of Commerce too, it's just seen a sudden spurt come by, um, you know, in, in the middle of today's trading session. What would be your strategy here? Yeah, Mubina, uh, if you look at the uh, structure of uh, Oriental Bank, of like the stock has recovered from a uh, low level of 80 to now it's trading at 96 level. And in this process, stock managed to give breakout of its uh, six-month consolidation. So I think that stock should continue its uh, uh, upward rally towards 102 to 104 kind of target we can expect in this stock in the coming trading session. So uh, one can even uh, buy at the current level also with stop loss of 93. And those who are holding, they can trail their stop loss to 93 for upside target of 102 to 104. Alright, so it's a buy according to Rajesh. Uh, targets of 102 to 104 is what he's watching out for for OBC. Stock number 3 then and Pranay, why are you flagging off Lupin? Well, uh, they've got uh, FDA approval for a drug which is called Clovisam. Uh, this is basically for the treatment of seizures and uh, it's uh, not really expected to be a major contributor. Uh, it's one of the many companies that have received approval for this. Uh, the market is actually about $260 million uh, and that's the news that's coming in. But uh, more on this that it's been getting a very good uh, rate of approvals. So Q3 is actually expected to be a good quarter for them. Alright, uh, the stock price is a bit lackluster. In fact, it's completely off the day's high now, dwindling towards the day's low. Vivek, I, India Bulls Real Estate, however, has seen some buying, but that's really been the case across the realty pack. Well, that's right. You know, they seem to be reversing some of the 2018 losses. Uh, but India Bulls Real Estate, the company is going ahead and divesting a lot of its assets, especially on the commercial side. What they've done yesterday and what they've reported to the exchange is that uh, they've gone ahead and divested 50% of the stake that they had in their Gurugram assets. Now, this is a significant value unlocking scene, and which is why if I look at the stock today, up a little over a percent in the session. Okay, so that's India Bulls Real Estate for you. Moving on, Siddharth, SRF. Uh, this is a stock that has seen quite a lot of pricing action of late. What is it that you are observing here? Well, you know, since uh, 21st of December, we are seeing a sharp correction in SRF. In fact, there were two big down ticks uh, on 21st and 22nd. And then there was some consolidation. And today, again, stock has started correcting. Volumes are uh, uh, twice of that what we have seen in last two trading sessions. We are seeing 16 to 17% rise in open interest. It is near to its 200 DMA and the way built up is taking place, the way stock price is moving, it seems that that 200 DMA which might act as support might get challenged and probably breach of that would happen. So uh, expect further downside, that's what statistics are revealing at this point of time. Yes, uh, the selling has uh, uh, kick-started an SRF right from the 21st of December today as well. It's a day where the selling pressure has continued. Hindalco, Rajesh, you know, uh, metal stocks had been active yesterday. However, today, once again, they found themselves in the red. What would be a strategy you would recommend?
So if you look at the Indalco structure, stock is you know consolidating since last six week in a range of 214 to 230. And if you look at the uh, the 200 day moving average is coincide with 230 level. So once we get the breakout about 230 level, then we can see further more upward action in the Indalco. So my advice would be you know one should wait to uh, uh, stock to do breakout about 230 to buy uh, further for upside target of 245-250. So wait for the breakout of 230 in the Indalco. All right, uh, so that of course is Hindalco for you. By the way, look at the flashes appearing on your screens and this is with respect to the auto sale numbers. m and has delivered its numbers. What exactly are we staring at? It's both tractor sales declining by almost about 45 odd percent. But of course, do remember that that does not contribute significantly to m and overall sale numbers. But there you have it. That's the number you need to watch out for. And that's the December total auto sale numbers. Uh, it has come in at a figure of 39,755. Very quickly I'm going to try and pitch that against uh, what the uh, our own auto sale estimates were and it was at 36,250. Um, I think this would be disappointing um, because we were expecting an over so this is just for autos by the way we were expecting a growth of about 8.2% uh, that's the domestic tractor sale numbers for you as well um, our own expectation for the domestic tractor sale number was 20,000 an uptick of about 9.4% but I'm just going to try and wait for the um, M&M total sale number as well to come out and there you have it 39,755 versus 39,200 um, that is the number that has been delivered by m and and you know you just saw the stock price as well reacting uh, there was a sharp decline witnessed and there you have it on your screens we're at the day's low 2.4% lower for an m and so clearly street not very pleased with what they are seeing on the screen um, decline in the domestic tractor sales um, very very flattish total auto sales and um, of course a massive decline in the export of tractors as well in the month of December but you know that's really been the theme uh, for m and in uh, for auto numbers actually in general this declining trajectory and keeping it with autos uh, Pranay Ashok Leland as well as a stock you're flagging off uh, what is the expectation? Well Mubina the expectations are that uh, the number could be about 15,200 units which would mean a decline of about 21% uh, year on year. Uh, what some analysts have mentioned is that the CV demand has uh, been a little weak on the back of deferral uh, in the purchases. Uh, we've seen some constraints in vehicle financing, so that should impact uh, the demand numbers. And also the increase in axle load capacity is something which is going to affect the demand. So therefore you're seeing the stock trade uh, a little soft right now. Okay, so we do not have the um, uh, the numbers yet, but yeah, mostly expectation is that it's going to come out with another month of weak numbers because CV demand itself has remained slightly weakish. Credit access Grameen and Vivek, why are you flagging this stock? Well, what the company has done is uh, Credit Access Grameen, uh, they've completed close to 280 crore of direct assignment uh, that was due and the other thing about now in this particular period they've also gone ahead and uh, secured a little over 110 crores of the total loan book so at that point of time it's positive news for for credit access grameen and the stock is seeing a slight sentimental positive okay a uh, 0.7% higher it's mostly moved sideways um, in today's trading session so that work hard and uh, what are your observations in the way the stock has moved today well observations are positive in fact last two three trading session uh, mobile pharma stocks are doing well we all know Mokad is a high beta stock. Uh, what's interesting here is some technical pattern developing. A downward sloping inverse head and shoulder is getting formed which has positive implications uh, and there is a breakout uh, uh, visible. Now club this, we are seeing formation of long positions in future segment which means that uh, not just derivatives but technically also people are seeing a lot of buying interest as such. So that's the reason we are talking about this thing. Okay, 1.6% uh, higher for work hard. Uh, Rajesh Meetam, HPCL, um, a stock has really been sensitive to crude moves. What is your observation and your strategy here? Yeah, if you look at the move of all the OMC companies, stock, uh, we have seen, you know, of late, uh, all the stocks have shown, you know, good buying interest. But now, uh, the stocks are, you know, consolidating. If you look at the HPCL, stock managed to give breakout on the uh, near term chart at 246 level. So, I feel that stock uh, would continue its upward momentum towards 262 to 266. So, one can hold or one can buy even at the current level with stop loss of 246 for target of 266. 
Okay, uh, so hold on to an HP sell. By the way, it's as flat as flat can be for the stock price as we speak. All right, Fortress Healthcare. Meantime, so much going on in this uh, stock. Do remember that we just had that announcement with respect to the statutory auditors Deloitte resigning, and now uh, there is a new development. Not only have they, of course, uh, appointed new statutory auditors, but uh, Fortress has also decided to once again extend the deadline for the transaction with RHT Health. From what we understand, RHT Health as well has agreed to the long term date extension. Do remember, in September they had decided that the extension, uh, the the date for the, the deadline for the transaction is going to be 31st December, and now they have further extended it to 26th of March. In the midst of all of that news flow, we are seeing the stock on tender hooks down by 0.7 percent. Then, Shilpa Medicare, what's the news of the year? Well, they got uh, approval for a drug, and uh, while we don't know what the size of this is, uh, this drug approval for the U.S. market actually comes after a very long time, and therefore the stock is up a good two percent in trade today. Okay, um, it's off the day's high, but still 1.9 percent higher today in trade at 3.92 rupees. Uh, Vivek, um, it, uh, massive up move witnessed in an Atul Auto. So you know, it seems to be bucking the trend. It seems to be the one uh, company that's actually seen a significant rise uh, as far as its sales numbers have come in. So if we're talking about the auto sales for the lotto, it jumped up almost 50% on a year-on-year -year basis. The total number of units have come in at a little over 4,300 units, and uh, given the fact that it's been a positive surprise, the stock has almost hit the upper circuit, up almost 19% in the session today. And 19% higher, yes, uh, for Atul Auto, so certainly bucking the trend. And finally, Siddharth, uh, stock number 15, you're flagging off Tara Elixir again. Well, yes, uh, if you look at the trend of today in uh, IT space, it's not positive. In fact, most of the IT names are correcting Movida. And uh, Tata NXC is outperforming. Yes, it was up by uh, one, one and a half percent. Now you're seeing, you know, just in the last five minutes, you're seeing some correction from higher level, but still in positive territory compared to other IT names. We are seeing higher volume action. There is some formation of long position also. And there is a resistance of this 1050. And the way the stock today is outperforming within its own space suggests that that resistance might get challenged. So watch out for that level. Needless to mention that volume is high in both the segments. All right, 0.7% uh, higher for Tata Elixir. Well, we're done with 15 stocks. We'll just take a breather on market for Rafa, but come right back. Uh, we will continue with the countdown when we return. You're watching Market Fatafat on 18. Our market's looking dull, but we are flagging off individual stocks that you should be watching out for. We are done with 15. Let's move on and uh, talk about the next stock, and that's Page Industries. Uh, Rajesh, you know, this, month, this is not just a one day move. We have been seeing Page Industries move lower for the last couple of days. Uh, what would be a strategy you would recommend here? See, if, uh, if you look at the last few days move of page industry, stock is you know uh, trading below all its important moving average, which is you know indicating that you know stock is in you know weakness zone in the weakness zone. And uh, if you look at the structure that the stock is facing the resistance at around 25, uh, 350 or 25, 700 kind of zone. So until the stock not crosses these level on the higher side, it will face the supply pressure on the higher side. So I feel that stock may slide further more from the current level. And looking at the pattern, it can slide towards 20. 2900 to 23600 in the coming trading session. So one should avoid at the current level to buy the stock. Okay, 2% uh, lower for page industries as we speak. Uh, Rajesh, of course, uh, you heard out his recommendation. 
I say that prudential meantime CLSA has come out with a note on financials where they do believe that top picks are corporate banks with strong deposit franchise. They also have spoken about the entire NPL coverage bid. They believe uh, that we may see some bit of um, pressure in when it comes to uh, uh, you know the entire uh, coverage bit but um, <clears throat> talking about that they also do believe that some of their top picks are um, among uh, um, along with ICIC Prudential also ICIC Bank, Indusin Bank as well as HDFC. Okay moving on to the next talk and Pranay why are we uh, speaking about Centrum Capital? Well, they've acquired uh, the supply chain business of uh, L&D Finance and that is why it is in focus. Uh, the stock though is up just about a percent on the back of that. Okay, 1% higher for a Centrum cap at 36 odd rupees. Vivek, uh, Maruti, we've been talking about auto sale numbers. Once again, it looks like Maruti seems to have disappointed. Well, uh, absolutely right, uh, Mubina. Mubina, in fact, Maruti has come below even what the most muted analyst expectations on the street were. We were expecting a monthly sales number of close to 1.3 lakh units. That in itself would have been a disappointment, but the company has managed to show an auto sales figure of just around 1.28 lakh units. Uh, sales are down almost 1.3% on a year on year basis. The domestic sales though has seen a marginal jump of 1.8% on a year on year basis, but it's the exports that disappointed down almost 37% and uh, no wonder the stock is down uh, almost a uh, little less than a percent in the session today. Okay, uh, so that's uh, Maruti for you. It's um, it, you know posted a sharp decline on an intraday basis and it's still losing in trade. So that BML as well is uh, losing and it's losing more than one percent. Well, yes, but then we will have to see it uh, from positional perspective. Mubina, one uh, percent for a high beta name like BML is not a very big move because we have seen a sharp rise from you know almost 500 levels to 900 levels in matter of. Uh, uh, two to three months. Now, in that context, the one percent move is not big. Even if you look at the data of last two weeks, then there is substantial formation of long position stock has been doing well. And now, last three four days, stock is consolidating in a range. And within that consolidation, today you are seeing eight percent rise in open interest. I mean, these were short position moving now, then stock would have fallen more because markets are also going down substantially. So, I believe rather than Saying that these are shorts, stock is consolidating, and I would say that these are more of long positions created at lower levels. Okay, BML down a little over one percent as we speak. Rajesh, why are you flagging off shoppers? Stop for our viewers. Oh yeah, Movita, though the stock is down by around 2%, but uh, if you look at the structure of shopper stock, it has formed a base around the 500 kind of level. It has spent a 2-3 month kind of time frame on those level and formed a base. And on the near term chart, stock managed to do breakout above 520 level. So now if stock continues to trade above 520 level, I feel that stock will uh, move further higher from these level towards 555 to 560 level. So one can hold the position with the 520 stop loss. Alright, uh, so 555, 565 is the level that you must watch out for. Uh, that's if it continues to trade above 520. Okay, um, escorts meantime, you have it on your screen, the numbers uh, that are appearing, auto sale numbers and let's just very quickly pull up the stock reaction. Yes, it's a sharp spike that we are seeing because the December tractor sale number has come in at 4,598 rupees. Now let's pitch this against, against um, what the Utina poll was suggesting, 5,000 units. So I think we have been able to uh, surpass expectations. The growth as well has come in higher than uh, 39, 40 odd percent in fact. I think uh, just back on the envelope calculation. Uh, okay, no, it's just about, uh, we are just about uh, at the mark when it comes to escort. In fact, a minor miss, it's 4,598 uh, odd. Uh, so it's approximately a 35 odd percent uh, growth figure that we have witnessed in an escort. But yeah, that is a sharp spike that we're witnessing in the stock price as we speak. And it's now settling, uh, it is now at a level of 710 rupees. Moving on, Pane, let's talk about Axis Bank. We have a new MDM CEO with effect from today. Yes, uh, so a lot of expectations of the street from Amitabh Chaudhary who takes over the reins from today. Uh, Shiva Sharma has uh, now retired uh, and as we've seen, Amitabh Chaudhary comes with uh, quite a track record when it comes to performance. Similar uh, is expected of, uh, you know, uh, higher quality private banks. That performance will be reflected during his tenure. So on the back of that, actually it is outperforming some of its uh, tier 1 peers in the market today. 
And of course, not to forget, we did have a brokerage note as well yesterday from MK, wherein they did say that um, they would be very closely watching out for what is going to be the strategy for the new MD and CEO. And they do believe uh, that he is going to, uh, in all probability, undertake a major overhaul of the bank. All right, uh, stock number 24 then, and Lake Adani Ports. Uh, why is this one in focus? Well, it's an interesting uh, deal that's happened. Uh, the company had four subsidiaries, Adani Petroleum, Adani LPG Terminal Business, as well as uh, the Mundra LPG Terminal Business. What the company has said is that uh, for the uh, issuance of equity shares in each of, by each of these subsidiaries, the company's uh, share capital has come down to less than 1% or the shareholding has come down to less than 1%, so which is why this ceased to be subsidiaries. This is a reasonably important development as far as Adani is concerned. Uh, how the stock is quite due to the session today. And it's 0.6% lower for Adani Ports today in trade. So that's stock number 25, Indra Prasta Gas or IGL. Uh, uh, what is it that you're seeing in terms of the way the stock price is moving today? Well, uh, one thing that volumes, cash volumes are at uh, almost uh, one month high. So you can understand that it's not, this will be the first day and not many participants. IGL is showing a lot of volume. And then you see price action 2% up or 1.7% up for stock, which means that it's uh, uh, it's more of a buying volume. Plus there is formation of long position. Plus it's moving above its 200 DMA. So it's a price volume breakout above its 200 DMA and there is formation of long in futures. Price volume breakout is about the 200 daily moving average and long formation in future segments. So all signs are pointing towards bullish moves in an IGL. Uh, Rajesh, I think that could be the same even for a prestige estate. The royalty pack is certainly moving with a lot of uh, fervor and prestige estate being as well a big contributor. Yeah, if you look at the prestige, prestige is, uh, industry has managed to do the breakout on the weekly chart of the flag, flag pattern. And if you look at the moving average, the stock is now trading above 50 to 100 the moving average, which is also giving the positivity on the stock for the near term as well as on the short term front. And looking at the chart pattern, I feel that stock will continue its upward momentum towards 245 to 250. One can hold the position with stop loss of 225 for upside target of 250. Okay, so prestige estates and that's the strategy that uh, Rajesh is recommending. Uh, United Spirits, not in the best of spirits today. This is after the Times of India has reported about the Maharashtra government mulling increasing excise duty on Indian made foreign liquor. And that's something that is natu naturally not going to go well for investors as well as of course liquor consumers. 20% uh, hike is what they are considering in the premium and mid-size segment. And do remember Maharashtra is a very important market. In fact, it contributes about 10 to 11% of the uh, volumes uh, to the entire industry, the IMFL industry. So 20% uptick certainly would not bode well, especially for the demand sentiment in Maharashtra. And uh, that is the reason why you know you are seeing the likes of the United Spirits, Radical Khetan declining today in trade. Okay, Pranay Tara Motors, uh, we're still awaiting the numbers, but what is the 18 up poll? How is the stock reacting? Well, no, we know the stock right now is sideways and the expectation is that the passenger vehicle sales could be down about 9-10% and the commercial vehicle sales could be down about 7-8%. This is not actually because of bad performance but because of a higher base. They had uh, some good launches this time last year and therefore the inaugural uh, volume and sales push. So therefore it's going to find it difficult to show positive growth according to street estimates. Okay, uh, that's of course Tara Motors for you, stock number 29. Vivek, very quickly, Lemon Tree, what's the CLSA note? Well, CLSA is quite enthused by the JV that the company has done. Uh, they have a maintaining a buy stance from the stock. They believe that uh, the company has the execution capabilities to support the latest expansion and they have a target price that close to 87 rupees a share. The stock is up a little over a percent in the session today. And finally, stock number 30, Siddharth, yes, bank, why are you flagging this one up? Well, uh, Stock has not done much uh, movie now, but then there is a reason to highlight. This is like 10th or 12th uh, session that uh, it is consolidating in a very narrow range. And a stock like Yes Bank, uh, which is surrounded by so much of news flow, consolidating for so long. Today we are seeing higher volumes in future segment. So watch out for this name. This name can give you a decent upside or downside. That's what statistics are indicating. Uh, so volatility might increase from current levels. That's why we are talking about it. Okay, there you have it. 30 stocks done right here on Market Fatafat. On that note, thanks to all of you for joining in. Rajesh, to you as well for sharing your technical strategies. We'll wrap it up in this edition of the show. Uh, but stay tuned. Closing trades will come up after a very short break.